I have the Brother Serger, uh, the 1034D, and after every um, use, especially when I'm gonna switch over thread colors, I like to clean it out. In order to clean it, I use two products. I use these Clorox dust wipes, which unfortunately were discontinued, um, but I, you know, really like them. And uh, what I do is I just cut them in half because they're kind of big. Um, and I use the Swiffer dry, um, dry cloths, uh, which are actually meant for the floor, but they work just as well. Um, and I use them to help clean my sewing machines and my uh, serger and uh, my cover stitch. Um, I also use a variety of brushes and It's amazing, you know, the only brush that was actually a sewing machine brush was this one. The other ones, this is a baby bottle nipple cleaner. And this is just a little paintbrush, which I think I got at the dollar store, um, but there was like two in the pack. And um, this was an old, hair color, which I never used, brush. So I've taken off the little um, tray, which is for uh, when the cuttings come off of your serger. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to clean all of this out. What I'm going to do is take it to my sink and wash it out and then dry it. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I know I'm going to change um, colors, is I'm going to snip my threads. And I'll briefly turn on my machine just so that I can get the rest of the thread out. it looks like something has jammed somewhere. So, um, I'll turn off my machine. So, I just then take and I remove all the thread that I can remove. And I'll turn it back off. And then... I'm gonna clean it while it's off. Do not try to clean it while it's on. So I'll first take this brush and I'll just do some large, you know, cleaning out. And this lint just attaches itself to everywhere. And what I use the Swiffer is I clean off my brush. <laughs> and as you see, you end up with a lot of lint. And I just clean as much as possible. And then I like to take this one um, and just kind of really put it inside the cavity, right above where it has the plate for the knife. And I will get some, 
wipe it off as best as possible. And I'll stick it down at the bottom. And that usually produces quite a bit. And I'll use the actual sewing machine serger brush. And I'll get in there and just really try to make sure um, I will um, pull this out and then make sure to push it back in. And just wherever you can see. So pretty much I use this one to clean my brushes. Um, then at the end you can take and wipe down the door, but I like the Clorox ones for this. It really picks up the little micro pieces of dust. Um, but as you see, it really needed it. And sometimes I'll pop um, the knife and I'll clean it off. Make sure that's okay. Clean a bit more. And then I'll put this back in. The little arrows, let's see if it can handle line up there is an arrow in the machine and you just line it up and push it back in and that's it and i'll clean as much as i can And then I like to take the Clorox one and I like to just kind of wipe. I like this one because it does not produce any lint itself. And I'll wipe. And I'll also wipe my presser foot. I'll try to get underneath. I just wipe as much as I can. And then I'll close the door so that I can clean um, the door. Let me see if I can get you in so you can see the door. I don't know if you can see that on there. And I'll just wipe as much as I can off of the machine. I don't have a problem threading my machine, so I don't do the tie the knot method. I just thread my machine. I'm going to take the Clorox one, gonna really give it a good wipe. I'm going to wipe on the top. I'm going to wipe where the thread sits, the thread stand part of it. And I just try to get as much dust and lint off of it as possible.
and underneath it. This I'm going to use the other half of the Swiffer. And as you see, it really picks it up. And that's what, what was underneath my machine. And I can give this a wipe out, but I'm actually going to take it to the bathroom, wash it out, and dry it. And I'll do that now. I've gone and washed the tray and I've dried it and now I just put it back in and then my machine is ready for threading. That concludes the cleaning of my brother 1034D serger. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate if you subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you very much.